Today was a big day on the calendar. It was the deadline for school districts across the state to submit their preliminary reopening plans. And in Boston, Mayor Marty Walsh tried to reassure parents that schools will be flexible, but he now says students will not be heading back to class full time. They won't be in school. WBZ's Anna Ritas Rodriguez has the story. Because our children deserve the opportunity and the access to an excellent and equitable education. As school districts submit reopening plans to the state, Boston's superintendent stood outside City Hall to tell families they'll have options. Parents will be able to choose either hybrid or remote without losing their spot at their school. This is one of the most frequent questions that I get. With Mayor Marty Walsh by her side, asking union educators take the politics out of the process. At some point down the road, whatever date that is, we have to reopen school. We're going to do the work now to make sure it happens safely. This morning, the Boston Teachers Union released a survey showing a growing number of members are not comfortable returning to school in person. We haven't seen any evidence or assurance that the health and safety protocols and upgrades to facilities are happening at all. In fact, uh, we don't believe actually walkthroughs have even occurred yet. They've only looked at blueprints. Districts are preparing for three options, in-person instruction, remote learning, or a hybrid of both. Today, superintendents submitted their first draft. By August 10th, those details will need to be fine-tuned. We know that there's been a focus on logistics, but nowhere has there been attention given to how we're going to take care of children and their social-emotional needs. Education advocates say families with limited resources are at greater risk of falling through the cracks. So many of the services that our students receive happen in our school buildings. Especially in big city districts like Boston, where data shows 21% of students live with disabilities and 72% receive state benefits. Boston Councilwoman Anissa Asaibi-George. We have to work and double down our efforts to make sure that our most vulnerable students the kids that need to access the academics the most, that we're working to make sure that it can happen in person. As the push to reopen continues amidst a pandemic, I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez, WBZ News.